different doesn't mean bad. And that is a lesson that I sort of, and also different doesn't mean bad. I think that's sort of one of the most useful, if not the most useful thing I think I've heard the therapist that I saw say to me. Um, it was weird, it's like going to a therapist when I went, I never felt like she said things that I didn't already know or things that I hadn't really thought of, but hearing it from somebody else, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's good because it's like validating, because I do, I don't want, and I don't want to say it in like that weird way, like I think I'm like a unicorn, but it's just like, I, I, it, I don't know how to describe it in a way that's not like gross. So I've used sort of different does it mean that as a mantra moving forward and within like my art and like just like my stance on life. Because I sort of have, it's been a thing that I've struggled with where it's like, I feel like I can't approach things and do things the way that other people do. And it could be because I am very picky or particular. Some might say anal about things, but I just, I don't know, I've always been like that. And as I've gotten older, I feel like it's only gotten stronger within my character but at the same time I'm very self-critical so while I am like searching for like this refined vision of like my art style myself I guess my art artistic path and how I express myself I'm also like I'm not doing this way it's socially acceptable in a way that I think I'll ever receive acknowledgement. And I've never missed like being in school, but that was something that I always got via school, even though I never applied myself. It was like people were like, oh, like teachers or like people within like positions of authority could be like, you're doing well by these standards. And in life, you don't really have those to go by anymore. And I think, I don't know, I think it's my Capricorn. I keep bringing up astrology shit. But I feel like it's my inner Capricorn. It's like you're not meeting, like, societal standards. And that's not the correct way to value yourself or, like, find your esteem, you know? I do feel that, like, my values within things I created are unconventional because I create things with, like, I don't want to say like for the emotional value, but it's like what I've mentioned before, like the working through element where I feel like I find fulfillment in the act of doing things rather than like saying things the way other people do. Cause I'm really not this talkative. It's hard for me to think of things to talk about for these voiceover videos to make them interesting. I'm trying to think, can I think of anything else to say that sort of connects to this idea? It kind of connects back to like other videos that I've made. That's what's really difficult for me. One of the reasons why I guess it's really difficult for me to make videos is like I feel like I'm kind of saying the same thing over and over again just with different words. But it all goes back to like the same thing. You know, it all trickles back to like do whatever you want because you're gonna die and what really matters after that point <laughs> you know like were you happy did you do the shit that you wanted to do i don't know a person that i think is a good example of a different doesn't mean bad once again i'm gonna go back to a musical influence lauren hill Lauren Hill was booed off of, what is it, Showtime at the Apollo, when she tried to sing, I think it was an Aretha Franklin song, but then, like, years later, she comes out with, like, the miseducation of Lauren Hill, and people just weren't ready for her, so, you know, like, at the time that she auditioned, whenever that was, to, like, when she went on to do the Fugees and her album and, like, Sister Jack and stuff, like, 
people just weren't ready for like her style of music so I'm like maybe my style or like my time just like really isn't there yet is this a stupid thing to think of perhaps but that's where my mind went to and I find comfort in that idea it's a reoccurring theme like everyone I think could find a moral within Lauren Hill's career, you know, like, yeah, that's it. It dawned on me that I had forgotten another good musical example that I could mention. My voice is going, yes. Um, and it is Jessie J. There was that video going around of Jessie J trying to sing the song that had only been sung by the Jennifers, Holiday and Hudson. And... You think Jessie J, of all people, because I think she's, like, a super talented vocalist, and she's, like, I'm just, like, and she's also, like, a really solid songwriter, if you're, if you're speaking pop music. She was trying to sing it the way they sang it, and I'm, like, no, Jessie, sing it your way. Some of my favorite artists have taken songs, like, if you would, like, Amy Winehouse really has done a wonderful job. I talk like she's not dead. She was great. Anyway, she covered Donny Hathaway, she's covered the Beatles, she made those songs her own, and I'm like, I didn't even give a fuck about the other versions after I heard her version, I'm like, oh, she really did that, Kareem, Kareem Bailey Ray is another perfect example of somebody who's like, different doesn't mean bad, like, she covered Bob Marley and the Whalers, is this love, the real, the original, wow, the original version of that is like, way different, she really, and then she did another one, I want to say Daydreaming is a cover of an Aretha Franklin song, and then my favorite of those She's def these are low key my top five, three of my top five. Joss Stone covered so many songs. And she's covered them so well. She's covered Aretha Franklin songs. She's covered Janis Joplin songs. Um, you know a lot of other classic singer songs she's covered as well. But I'm just gonna name those ones because those are the ones I'm most, I most I remember the most. And, oh, Dusty Dusty Springfield. Yeah, she covered Preacher, but everybody covered that too. So, needs to say, I think it's important to really be like authentic, and. Within, like, those people, that's when I was like, oh, that's when that clicked in me. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe different doesn't mean bad. But, you know, when I say things, I'm like, am I, am I hyping myself up because it's just me? And I'm like, there's probably a very good chance. But hearing somebody else say, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not crazy. I can't be. You said it, too, you know? Um, just popping in my head because I realized I'd forgotten that. I'm like, that is actually another really good example slash scenario of different doesn't mean bad. I really forgot what I was saying midway through that. Okay.